question is, what's today's topic? I'm going to talk about a fan I got out at Harbor Freight. It's the 30-inch one. You see it right here in front of me. I read the reviews. Uh, you can pretty much find negative reviews on everything nowadays. And some of the things I think are kind of odd that people write about. I mean, so I'll discuss those briefly. i give you a little demonstration. I'll show you some still pictures. Make some comments about it. Now, the first thing... You get this thing, it comes in a big box. Let me show you. It comes with kind of a poor instruction manual, but there's a photograph in there. It probably took me about 20 minutes to put it together. It's fairly easy. It's straightforward. Um, I'll address a couple of the comments. Somebody said the little rubber ring around the base, and I'll show you a picture of that. You know it's flimsy and it doesn't hold up well that's true it doesn't and it falls off easy well falling off easy was fixed when i got mine by using just a couple of drops around the base of ca glue uh, you can use what you want or you can go by the comment it's kind of a flimsy thing okay but i didn't buy it because of the little rubber base because i'm going to use it out in my shop uh, the other comment was somebody said inside it's way too noisy it sounds like airplane propeller taking taking off it's not meant for inside the house i mean you could certainly use it there but it's meant for the shop and if you notice let me show you the packaging again it'll show you the three speeds it's got low medium and high Now, for me, this works really great. I put it towards the back of my shop and I turn it on and if I'm doing woodworking and sanding and stuff, it's blowing and throwing everything forward and out through the garage. And it's keeping it pretty clean and it also creates, you know, a nice little wind, let's say, you know, while you're working. Uh, you could put it outside and point it towards a car or something if you're working on it. But like I said, I'm going to use mine, I mean, in the shop. Now, the other critique or whatever is it's noisy um, I'll turn it on here for you in a minute I don't know how well the microphone will pick it up it's not any more noisy I have a drill press a wood lay the bandsaw a table saw and I have a compressor it's it's not that noisy and actually after a couple of days of using it and I've owned it now for about four and a half months I don't even notice it when it's on but what I do notice it keeps the shop a lot cleaner because it's blowing out everything else. Now I have a compressor with a coil house blowgun on it, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll show you the advertisement, you know, on that real quick, and it's in the link below, but it's fantastic, the blowgun. And as I blow the shop out and the fans working, it's keeping the shop, I mean, so much more cleaner. Um, somebody said it's heavy. Well, it weighs about 60 pounds. Now you can tilt it up on edge and kind of roll it around. I did that for the first uh, three or four days. Then I came across the sale on these casters. Let me show you the advertisement off Amazon. Okay, nothing high end. I didn't need anything that could support a whole bunch of weight. So I bought these casters. They're nice. They're metal. Each one of them has got a braking mechanism on it. So it's not going to go anywhere. Even on high, if I didn't have the brake on, it's not moving around. But it's nice to have the brake. It comes with it. They were on sale. I went ahead and I bought them. I used a step drill. Um, there are four holes in the base, uh, which you can see. Uh, which you can see in one of the pictures. And all I did is I used a step drill and I drilled it out just a little bit bigger to match the size of the bolt. Put it up through there and with these casters this thing's fantastic. Now I will tell you on the casters it doesn't come with washers but it does come with the bolts. But I got plenty of washers laying around. Whether you use them or you don't it doesn't matter. It's on the base I mean of the fan. I like keeping everything in my garage and my shop mobile because I don't have a lot of room. It's a you know standard two, two and a half car garage and I've got equipment and everything else. So having things on wheels, I can put it out of the way. I can stack things to the back, have a big open space and move those tools and things around 
you know, as I need to. I mean, you know, my lathe and my table saw, all these things, you know, they're on casters. And so it makes it that much easier. And you can also roll it outside, like I said, to work on a car. Let me give you a quick demonstration of low, medium, and high on this fan. And I don't know how well the microphone will pick it up. And then I'll show you some still photos and make some comments. Okay, so that was just a quick demonstration of the three speeds. Now the other thing is people criticized it because it doesn't tilt down very far. It will tilt up a decent amount if that's what you want to do is like point it more upward, but downward, no, it doesn't. But that's okay as far as I'm concerned because it has the height adjustment on here where you can raise it up or you can lower it. So uh, if you're that concerned over the downward tilt, you might want to rethink it. But I think it's a great deal. I would definitely buy it again, especially now that it's on sale. Now, what's the max height on it? Well, it says six feet. And with the casters that I bought, you could probably add another two or three inches to it. And like I said, you can lower it or you can adjust it up. Let me show you the adjustment knob. Definitely worth considering. I mean, if you really want something that works great, especially like I said, like in a garage or a shop type setting, this really moves a lot of air and it keeps the place really tolerable when you're working out there. I live in desert cities, it gets hot out. So this is like a nice plus for me. All right, folks. So I noticed that it's on sale now. I mean, this is what I picked it up for also $119.99. And so it's usually $159.99. If you're looking for something like this, I really think it's worth considering when you're out there. It's not that hard to put together. They say it takes two people. Um, I did it by myself. It wasn't that difficult. Once you get one bolt through the hole in the base, it pretty much just goes together very easy. So it's not complicated. You really don't need two people. All right. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. And if you know something better, drop it in the comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.